Hi, this is Bruce with this and that and other things. So today we're going to be uh, working in the garage and um, I do a little woodworking so I'm going to be doing some pins today. So kind of take you through the process of what I use to make pins and uh, how I go about it. Nothing special, but it can be fun to do. So stay tuned. All right, first off, I need to know from you guys who has the smallest shop? Because my shop is pretty darn small. Use and it's not very organized. It looks like it maybe it is a little bit organized, but that's because I just just done a cleanup on it. But uh, here is my shop, guys, that I work in, and uh, here is, like I said, I'm going to be doing some pins. And here is what I use to turn pins. Anyway, I use this uh, Central Machinery 10x18 mini wood lathe that I bought from Harbor Freight. Um, it's a nice little beginner's lathe. Nothing fancy. It's not doesn't have any electronics to it. You control the speed by belts, and I guess I had a diagram on the belt settings, but. Uh, on here but I don't but anyway it's got a belt and pulley system and you just set your speed moving the belts around and uh, so it does it does a decent job I, can, I have it kind of figured out where I need to be when I'm doing my different woods and on it so it's just a matter of kind of it's a learning curve to find out which setting is the best but once you get, get that done you know it really works out good um, the pen turning mandrel I bought a pen kit from Rockler, and this is what it came with when I started Tim with the Mandrel. Um, and by the way, you guys, I'm just not sponsoring by Rockler or anything. This is just what I started out with using, and it's a great, great kit. If you guys want to use, start out with a uh, turning kit and you're not sure what you need, get this. It really it comes with everything you need and to get you started and get you familiar with things but anyway this is this is the original mandrel that came with that and i think there's better mandrels out there i need to look into them um, because i think starting out i didn't know how much tail stock pressure i need to have on it and i think i maybe have bent it a little bit um, on here and you know so things aren't quite as true as that they, they should be but I work around it and I'll probably get it a different mandrel. This is, if you're starting out, you know, you can get by drilling holes and kind of doing it manually and you know, it works. But if you're gonna start doing a bunch of them, I would suggest getting one of these. It mounts on my drill press. And so once you get this mounted, on here there's oh there's guides here that you can put your your block into and it, it self centers on the drill press so you put this on the drill press you put your drill bit in there and then you and you screw this down you kind of see it move there guys and you lock in your drill bit in there so it centers on the uh, drill press then there's holes on the bottom here that you can bolt that down to the drill press plate once you have everything where you need it to be. This is what it looks like when you have the wood chucked up in it. Anyway, I bought this through uh, a Rockler as well, I believe, and I'll put a link in the video where you can pick it up. And order yourself this as well. Um, if I'm wrong on where I got this, it'll be a different link there. But I believe that's where I got this. I've had it for a little while and it works really good. Anyway, we're going to get this mounted on the drill so you can kind of see how I set it up and get it mounted. All right. So now, tighten this up on my drill bit. So that it self centers. Alright. 
So uh, that's how we self-center it. Then I've got these bolts that I use to bolt it up underneath. So I'm going to stop the video camera here in a little bit. I'm going to get these bolted in. You don't have to watch this. All right, guys. Sorry uh, for the noise in the background, but I'm in my garage and it's a little warm. I had the fan going earlier in my other first part of the video and it was a little noisy. Turn that off, but I've got a fan that's blown across my shop, <clears throat> so hopefully you don't hear that too much. But anyway, um, what we're turning today is a pin kit. Let me get it over here. Pin kit by Pin Kit Mall. Kit.com. And this is the first time I've purchased from them. And I thought maybe there would be instructions in this Monarch kit, but there isn't. But I think it's pretty straightforward <clears throat> if you've turned pins before. But today we're going to um, use a pin blank. Let's see if I can bring it in here. I bought this <clears throat> through Penn State Industries. And I've done this, this particular uh, blank using uh, a police kit that I bought through uh, Penn State Industries and it was really beautiful. So I'm gonna, I've got a little chunk of this left that I'm going to uh, use for this. So this is, the idea guy is, this is the tubing that the uh, this is going to go that this tubing is going to go inside this blank, and it's a little bit long, so we're going to probably cut it down. Get get a pointer here. So we're going to probably cut it down so we got about an eighth inch on either side. So you really don't need any more than about an eighth inch. So I'm going to take it over to my uh, saw a bandsaw and take a little bit off each side to make it shorter. Be right back. So we need to mark on here how much we're going to take off. I This end here is already cut and that should be fairly square. This end is not so I'm going to set my thickness on the left hand side where I need to be and I'm going to mark the right hand side about right there. So we're going to take off that much. I'll show you what I use to cut off my blanks. Uh, this is an, an old Grizzly 14 inch bandsaw. I bought it at a garage sale. I had to clean it up and redo it a little bit. The guy wasn't very nice to it. It cuts fairly straight and I kind of made my own little jig here in the grooves. Kind of helps me make these nice cuts on here that make them nice and straight. So that's kind of my setup. But I'll go ahead and cut this and be right back. All right, I've made the cut. And that's so much extra that I'm going to have on either end and so we'll get the hole drilled on this glue it glue the they I have super glue that I put around this thing and slide it in, in the hole and it gets glued in so we'll show you that in here in a little bit all right so I think I found the bit that we need to use 
labeled as 24 64 which makes it just slightly larger than the barrel. So I'm going to say that's probably the one that we're going to need to use. I'm going to drill a test hole in just some wood and see if I am correct. Monarch Pen Kit Mall. You will need a 2764 drill bit for the bushing. All right, now it's time to uh, drill our hole. We've got our drill bit set. Open up the clamp. Set our block in. slow with this. As I build up with shavings, I always like to back out it again. And I think my drill bit's long enough to go all the way through. We'll find out. this board underneath here when we get close to coming out the other end I'll readjust the block so that the drill bit hits this and to prevent tear out. Alright, we'll stop, clean it up a little bit. it through. So I have this block. Put that underneath and that will be the block that will prevent tear out. I always like to back the drill out and get rid of those shavings. It doesn't bind up the drill bit. I think I'm going through. Yep. So here's the finished product. Here's our bushing. Nice fit. Now we'll do the glue up. Okay, now we have to prep up the bushing before we glue it in. So this bushing is smooth. So we need to rough it up. And all you need is a piece of sandpaper and let me readjust the camera here. Sandpaper and you just grab it, both ends, and just do a scuffing on it. So you want something, the reason why you scuff it is that you want the glue to have something to grab a hold of and so that it will stay in place. And I usually go in circles and get some cross-cut grain cuts into the tube. And I keep turning, rolling and turning it.
some pink kits already have these pre-done this way some don't but you know it's not a big deal to do it yourself it doesn't take any time at all all right so that's what it looks like after you scuff it up and I just wipe it all the dust off and I just use a center punch just my camera here. Not that you want to see me, but <clears throat> anyway, I just use a center punch to put mine in. Some people use a pencil with a rubber band wrapped around it, and so forth, but uh, this seems to work pretty good. And I just use Loctite super glue liquid. Nothing special. across it. It doesn't take very long for it to dry. And then I turn it. And it sets up pretty fast. Since it's a liquid gel versus, or since it's a liquid super glue instead of gel. That's what one end looks like. And that's what the other end looks like. <clears throat> now we have to use a barrel trim to trim down the end. All right, I changed my plan. I'm gonna be using a barrel trimmer. So it's got a bit that goes down inside the barrel and then this steel here will trim the outside edge flush to the copper tubing. And that's what you want. Anyway, that's what you want to achieve is get down to the brass tubing and you see it's kind of shiny and that's where you want to stop. And do the same thing on the other end. Two's done.
All right, so we've got both sides. Oops, we got both sides trimmed down. We're good to go there. Now I looked on the website to see what bushings it takes, and I ordered the bushings for it. And it takes it takes the Sierra Sierra bushings. So we got the bushings. On here just like that. So that's the way it should look like when you put it in your <clears throat> in your lathe. Alright, so this monarch pin set is just a one piece pen blank. That is all we need to do. So I've got my mandrel set up and I got the bushings in there. And I got extra bushings to take care of the gap in between um, in between the, this gold collar and the rest of the shaft. So, and I've got my <coughs> tool stand set up, and we should be about ready to start turning this pin blank down. So this is a should be a fairly easy turn from what I can see. So it should turn out nice. All right, so we're going to start turning this pin blank down. And I'm going to be using a gouging tool for the time being. And I may switch over to another tool. But uh, here's the process. You notice that you notice that uh, the noise got a little bit less when we get rid of the uh, the corners and stuff. So, so we're doing good. We're getting down there. Let's do some more. bit high. So I'm going to lower my rest down a little bit. Okay, we're getting down there. Sorry about that, I had my face shield on so you can hear me. But we're getting down there. We got a little bit more left to go. Let's 
how much material we have left to get down to the bushing. The bush, the outer edge of the bushing is where we want to be when we're all said and done with this. So. All right. I'm going to turn over to this tool here. Getting close, guys. Getting close to a flush with the bushing. All right, we're gonna take some more off. We're getting close. close there. A little bit more and then we'll start doing the sanding on it. Do the sanding on it and get it trued and cleaned up. So, a little bit more. guys we're down to the point where we're gonna do a little sanding get it cleaned up polish it up start putting it together all right so we're gonna sand I got these from Rockler I believe and they're just different grits of sanding they have two different sides to them and I think it goes from like 600 grit all the way up to 2,000 or 4,000 grit so it um, is a nice it's a nice uh, sanding kit if you're doing lots of polishing and getting things prepped and getting into that final sanding and get it to the way you want it to look so I get it dipped in water and here we go. Mm. 
I'm going to switch out this yellow one because this one's this one's pretty much used. I'm use this one here. Anyway, you do a little sanding on it. And you'll start to get a little build up of the residue. So that tells you you're getting material off. Do the back side, go to a finer grit. Look and see how this is going. Getting there. It's getting a lot of the scratches is out. This is some of the residue that's coming off from it, so you know what's doing the job. All right. So I've got two grits done, and as you can tell, it's starting to clean up nice, start looking nice. So we did the orange and the green, and now we're going to move to the blue and the gray. Nope, I'm wrong. I move to the peach and the purple. residue. All right, now we're moving down to the final set. And I believe, I'm trying to remember here, I think this is the 2000 and that's the 4000. do it look at that shine guys and I haven't put the polishing out stuff on it yet so took all those scratches out of it it's gonna be a pretty nice looking pin blank all right so now <clears throat> I got this one step and I believe this is from Penn State Industries is where I got this at. So, I gotta turn the speed up on the lathe so when you put this on, put it on, run the lathe pretty fast. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the polish on. Get the lathe set to my fastest speed. You 
can tell it's starting to take off some of the residue. It's getting black there. A little bit, do a little bit more. It doesn't take much. All right. Look at that shine. Isn't that awesome? All right. Now we're going to move over and get this thing assembled. Okay. So this is, is a little bit different. Pin kit that I've ever done before. So apparently, this piece gets pressed onto the cap. So we're going to do that right now. So, I got this device. So that's pressed on there. And then this is all like this. Put your refill in there. This just slides on here. Well, we have it pressed together. Well guys, there is the Monarch Special Order Black Monarch pin set. Or not set, but pin. Uses a standard Parker uh, refill. Put it together is pretty simple. Looks nice. The blue against that black it looks very beautiful. Just a twist mechanism. Just like that. Okay, that is my video on making the Pin Kit Mall Special Order Chrome and Black Monarch Pin. Check it out. It's not too difficult. This is turns out real nice. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too much. Like I said, this is uh, YouTube video stuff is totally new. I'm going to try to edit a, a few things out of this that doesn't need to be here. <clears throat> and make it a short, sweet video. Share, like, subscribe. Much appreciated. Until next time. Thanks for watching.